1,519 days since we moved to Boston for her PhD, the day has finally come. Franchi became the first person in her program to complete the PhD. Oh my god! <laughs> Just like that, four years done. And with that, thank you very much for your attention and I'm happy to answer any question you may have. Harvard PhD, mission success, and what a day to do it. An 80 degree Friday during the beautiful Boston fall at the end of October. Family flying in from Chicago and Italy and friends taking off work to be here for Franchi's special moment. Truly a gift. But what is a PhD? A PhD stands for Doctor of Philosophy. It's the highest possible academic degree that a student can obtain. Franchi, I mean Dr. Nardi, studied oncology, which is the second most common cancer in men and women in the entire world. More than 228,000 people in the U.S. are diagnosed annually with lung cancer, and more than 135,000 Americans die. So yeah, this is not just a random PhD in something that is totally useless like medieval literature. What are you really going to do with that? I would also like to say that her work in particular not only um, shed some really important light on biology of lung cancer, but really has the potential to change practice, I hope, in, in the future if the clinical trial that we're developing works well. So with that, I would like to introduce Francesca. What Franji studied and contributed to can change the world and save lives. Literally save lives. Well, I'm just editing this YouTube video. Listen. The path to a PhD is treacherous, and you never know when you'll arrive at your destination. Kind of like driving in Boston. But it's true. A PhD is not like your bachelor's degree where you essentially exchange four years of your life being a part-time student and party animal for a piece of paper. A PhD has no set timeline. The only way you complete it is if you contribute something to the field you are studying in. The average amount of time is six years, but Franchi did it in four. Who knew she could do it? Well, she did. She said her goal was to finish in five years. There's a lot of heartbreak in a PhD and people can take even more than 10 years to accomplish this goal. It doesn't mean that they're stupid. It means that they had to troubleshoot until they found the solution or for some switching projects after being unsuccessful for five years and starting completely from scratch. Harvard was actually the final school Franchi applied to when she was applying to different PhD programs. Her mom forced her to do it even though she didn't want to do another application. And I remember like yesterday, after she sent the application from her laptop, she slammed the laptop and goes, I just wasted $50. <laughs> Of course, she ended up getting into Harvard, Northwestern, University of Chicago, and Wisconsin. Wisconsin loved her. But it was Wisconsin. As she was visiting some of these schools, she would call and tell me what she liked and didn't like about the schools. When she was at Harvard, she called me and said, Oh, I went to this museum and people dressed nice and there was all this chocolate you wouldn't believe. So eventually, that's what drove her into Harvard. <laughs> One of the stories that I'll always remember from this experience of just watching someone obtain their PhD from Harvard is the 24-hour exam. They had 24 hours to take an exam. I literally went to bed the night before and Franchi was studying at the kitchen table. I woke up the next morning and she was still there about to start the exam. I went to work, to the gym, had a full day and came back home and she was still working on the exam. And she only stopped when it was about time for bed, probably around 10 p.m. That's when I realized the PhD is just an experiment and the students are just the test subjects. This program really pushes you to the limits of death. I'm not joking. They would actually receive emails throughout the semester asking if they wanted to kill themselves. By the way, this is not a graduation cap from Harvard. Franji says she always wanted to throw a cap up like she saw in the US movies. In Italy, this is what they wear when they graduate. So I got her this cap. Check out my shirt too. It literally arrived as I was walking out the door to her presentation. When it comes to skills, Franji has what it takes to succeed in almost any role in any field. Super organized, detailed, and hyper-focused. In a world full of distractions, Franji is able to focus unlike anyone I've ever met. No music, no phone, no getting distracted by social media, text. She can sit there and give 100% to whatever task she is working on. And this alone separates her from nearly anyone in today's world. So what's next? Well, with this PhD, her opportunities are very location-based. 
Chances are, we stay in Boston, the Hollywood of science. The next place that would be good for her job would actually be San Diego. The spread between opportunities in Boston and San Diego is so big though, it would be like the Celtics being up five games on the number two seed in the Eastern Conference. San Francisco was also suggested, which I immediately said, we aren't going to San Francisco. Is there a chance we return to Chicago? Perhaps, but at the time of this video, zero opportunities are open in Chicago for her. How about a chance to return back to the motherland, Italy? Possibly. That would be cool though, wouldn't it? Congratulations, Dr. Nardi.